on a clear day in August 1944, an Allied air reconnaissance plane flew over southern Poland. Its mission? To photograph a new Nazi chemical plant. But when they were developed, the aerial photographs showed more than just the Nazi factory. Purely by accident, the aircraft had taken photographs of another complex seven kilometers away. It was the Nazis' most evil extermination camp of them all. Auschwitz. The true horror of genocide is captured here. A train has just arrived. The SS guards are selecting fit prisoners to be tattooed with a number and sent to work in the camp. The others, the old, the young and the weak, are sent straight to the gas chambers and then burnt in one of five crematoria, clearly seen here. One moment captured on a photograph, but one second within three years of continuous killing. But by a tragic irony, these photographs were never analyzed during the war. They were filed away. They now make up a unique collection of forgotten evidence of Auschwitz. Today, these photographs pose some awkward questions. If an Allied aircraft could take photographs this clear, why couldn't Auschwitz be bombed? Or why couldn't they bomb the railways leading to the death camp? What did the Allies know about Auschwitz? Why didn't they do something to stop the killing? By the summer of 1944, the British government knew that Auschwitz was a place of mass murder. Why, given this information, didn't the Allies act sooner? And why, specifically, didn't they bomb Auschwitz? It's heartbreaking that they didn't. They knew there were gas chambers there. Why didn't they do it? Gathering intelligence about the Nazi state was a crucial part of the Allied war effort. Information on Nazi atrocities in occupied Europe increased throughout the early years of the war. Reports from Jewish organizations and the Polish underground told of brutal anti-Semitic measures and the segregation of Jews into ghettos. In July 1941, Intercepted and decrypted German Enigma codes revealed that Nazi terror had turned into mass murder in the Soviet Union. SS execution squads, known as Einsatzgruppen, were rounding up and shooting Jews and communists. May 1942, decryptions of German police codes and transport directives revealed that Jews were being rounded up all over occupied Europe and deported to unknown destinations in the East. Thousands are being packed into open lorries. About one and a half million Jews have simply disappeared altogether. No one knows how or where. Then, 
then on the 10th of August, 1942, the Foreign Office received a telegram from Gerhard Regner of the World Jewish Congress. Based on a report smuggled out of Germany, it revealed Nazi plans for the total annihilation of the Jewish people. Extermination at one blow. It was the first report to reach the West of a systematic policy of extermination. What the Nazis called the final solution. By the time the Regner report reaches London, the British government knows that Jews are being slaughtered in vast numbers in Russia by SS units. But they simply could not believe that Jews were being deported from all over Europe to places in the East simply in order to be murdered. This was something that beggared the imagination. You had to stop being human to believe that such a thing was possible. And if you thought the Germans were halfway rational, it seemed to be a bizarre use of rare resources, locomotives, rolling stock, in the middle of a war that had reached a critical stage, shipping Jews all the way to Poland just to kill them. This seemed unbelievable. <laughs> 